from a food stylist, food prop person perspective, what the f***? Like, where did this come from? Like, what is that? Surely it's not cheese. And I'm pretty sure those are freezer magnets. <laughs> My name's Rashawn. My name's Melissa. And we're food stylists. And today we're going to talk about specifically like food scenes and movies and as food stylists, what we think about it. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, Ooh. no reservations. I love this movie. I do too. It's so cute. Can I run it for you? Okay, the plate of food. The plate of food. Obviously, the food styling on this is like, it's been, not only is it being plated to make it look like a professional mm -hmm. restaurant, professional chef has plated the food, but then it's also done to make it seem like it's already been to the customer and the customer's already sort of yeah. like gotten into it a little bit. I have to think of how many steaks did they have on hand totally, for that. Totally, totally. Because it's, I mean, that's rare. That's super rare, yeah. And you know, the more you sit there, the more you're, you know, heat gutting it or trying to make it still look juicy, mm -hmm. shooting this, you know, take after take, that rare is gonna yeah, for sure. start getting a little, a little sad. A little sad, for sure. Here, you're not just dealing with food being the issue. Right. You're dealing with people and actors and did they remember their lines? And you could have made the perfect plate, the perfect steak. Right. And then somebody forgets their line halfway through and now Son you've got to- <laughs> now you've got to reset the whole thing. That scene right there. Mm -hmm. I love that. Now that is got that's completely natural. I would say that that's yeah. not faked in any way. No, they probably just did they it. just did it. So however many takes it took yeah. to get that shot. And even like the actors that are line cooks in yeah. this, where she's like basting these Cornish hens, it's like, okay, are you an actor or are you a cook? Or are right. you an actor that can cook? And so they like felt more comfortable about allowing you to do this, or is that even somebody else's hands? Right. So she's about to put this like caramelized sugar cage over this panna cotta. How but many sugar how, cages how many, do we think they yeah. made? How much did they have to do for that? Those things are so easy to break. Oh yeah, totally. Oh, Ooh. and she broke it. Son of a b And that's the other thing too, is like with food styling on movie sets, like your food is a prop you're actually preparing the food yeah. and then the actor is eating the food. Yeah. So it has to look a certain way, but then also be like completely edible and hopefully delicious. Yeah. Well, you also have to take into account dietary restrictions Ooh. of the actors. Ooh, I did not. Because Why would I think about that? Someone like if that little girl was gluten, gluten free intolerant or couldn't have her heart. soy or couldn't even have tomatoes, like Oy you've bae. gotta find ways to make that work. Okay, this one's uh, another really I love this movie too. This is a good one. Also like a food centric yes. movie. Like this movie is about food. Two very different worlds of food. Yes. People here don't eat those things. They have never tried. Oh, oh my gosh. The one-handed egg crack. First of all, like cracking an egg with one hand is like you've reached skill. you've reached a certain level when you can do that. Just the whole motion of that. Oh. Mm, so nice. I have to say eggs are hard AF yes. to cook and to food style. So like yeah. I can, re I really can only imagine how many takes it took them to do that. So then she's doing this technique where it's the traditional like French rolled mm -hmm. omelet or like a trifold omelet. And then she's knocking her wrist to knock the eggs to the edge of the skillet. So mm -hmm. like that's a technique and they probably worked on that for who yeah. knows how long. Oh my God. Hook. Peter, don't you know who you are? The bones on that are pretty ridiculous. Is it that a, a, that was a big old turkey? Turkey, for sure, big turkey. See, this what is what that's is what I that? remember. It looks like the tail of a peep. How fun! I would have I loved to have okay, done that something like that. Like Those, are peep. <laughs> Those, <laughs> Those are peeps. Those are peeps. Like a for peep. sure. A carved cheese. It was a giant wedge of <laughs> cheese. That's beautiful. What does it say on it? Chud butt it has somebody's face in it. Oh, it does. From a food stylist, food prop person perspective. What the f Like, where did this come from? Like, what is that? Surely it's not cheese, and I'm pretty sure those are freezer magnets. <laughs> Can you imagine getting that brief as the food stylist on, <laughs> on this We set? need you to create a fake <laughs> giant block of cheddar. It needs to have a face in it, and it needs to have letters. As a food stylist, you have to create these imaginary worlds, almost. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to put yourself in the mindset of, like, if I was a lost boy, 
what kind of pie would be in Neverland. Yeah, I totally agree. I think that's really funny that you say that because yeah. that's exact. That's essentially what actors do. You know, yeah. actors like have to put themselves in those situations to like present this experience to their audience. Well, sweet sauce have to do the same thing, but it's just from a different mm. perspective. Oh, eat, pray, love. Oh, I love this movie. This is such a good one. I want to go someplace where I can marvel at something. You have this beautiful plated pasta. It's so familiar. And mm. I think that's something that's very iconic. Um, and a, definitely like a food stylist trick is like twirling the pasta. Yes, so I have definitely, for food styling purposes, put on gloves and just like grabbed chunks of pasta and sat there mm -hmm. and hand twirled everything. Yeah, and I'm like, totally. this is not real life. That's a different, that's a completely different plate That of pasta. is not the same plate mm -hmm. of pasta. That looks extra saucy. So like that first one was probably plated specifically mm -hmm. for camera and this one was plated yeah. for her to eat. That where it's that, got the sauce oh. just right at her lips. Somebody had to food. Somebody put that there. Yeah. I swear to you. And even the way the noodles are like yes. hanging over her fork, the way she's holding it, like you've got to pause and like basically set it up for her to put it in her mouth yeah. and like, yeah. Okay, Marie Antoinette. It's not too much, is it? Oh, no. Cake is a whole other ballpark yes. of thing. Especially <gasps> French cakes. Especially for a period piece, for mm. one. Yeah. And for two, like cake. You got somebody special for this. Yes. Not me. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like how much work went into these for you to look at them for two seconds. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> champagne <laughs> tower pour. Hey, what's up? So fancy. Yes. I'm a, like a romantic a little bit and yeah. I imagine the food is real. I mean, you're not using like fake raspberries. That's like real orange peel. Yeah. To me, it would just be easier to make to real, use real candied food. orange peel than it would to be to figure out. I totally agree. What prop would look like this thing. This thing. Speaking of like a period piece, the you theme. know, there are certain things that embodied wealth. Yes. Right? And I think probably like fresh berries. Then there's like more gold, like lots yeah. of gold dusting and wow. Chocolat. Chocolat. Would you like to come in for some chocolate? Just that. Just that. The stirring the of hot chocolate. Is that chocolate? You could use real chocolate and keep it melted. You or have to assume that a movie set is not like a functioning environment right. for cooking. Like I know food stylists that have had to like cook pizzas with a hair dryer. Oh cake? look at the snail! Oh my gosh, I never realized that. So another note, you've got cooks, you've got bakers, <laughs> and then you have chocolatiers. Yes. Yeah, you definitely, like you could have had a food stylist on this set, but there definitely was a chocolatier, a chocolatier on this mm -hmm. set. Yeah. Again, when they do these like close up, just hand and food mm -hmm. situations, you have to wonder if that's the professional or if that's the actor. She just like gets a scoop, a handful of like raw cocoa nibs and she's like putting it on her on her board and she's like crushing yeah. it. So I mean like literally shows you sort of an yeah. idea of the process of making chocolate from scratch, yeah. which is like totally cool. They definitely had somebody, an expert on hand for that sort of yeah. thing. Uh, Sweeney and, Todd. Oh. You're poking mad. The years no doubt have changed me. The roaches are <laughs> <I'm> like, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> This is like the dark side of food stuff. <laughs> Always not just because Seriously. it's Sweeney Todd, Demon of Barber Street, for a one. There are and he's roaches a crawling on the cutting board. There are roaches crawling on the cutting oh. board. Actual talking about like food styling, like I, we have some like what looks like lard or shortening yes, or something it does like, look like covered shortening. in flour that she's making mm -hmm. her like probably. They're in Britain, right? They're in they're England. They're in Britain. They're in England. So yeah. This is probably a hot crust, like mm -hmm. hot water crust. Mm -hmm. The lighting has a huge effect on the way mm -hmm. you see the food. Like it's cold. It does not look appetizing. You no. have that like reaction to it. You're like, that doesn't look good at all. That looks like nasty. <laughs> this is a different level of food styling, people. <sighs> like you have to play that role. So it doesn't, it's not always about like a making a magical experience. Sometimes it's about whatever. 
Okay, so then the scene changes. Now it's like in a dining hall. The lighting is warmer, so it's brown. And so it's like, it is more inviting. It's crazy because if the first ones were actually the edible ones, and now these are like the ones that are made out of people, now you've like changed the context. So it's like, now it's more inviting, but you're technically eating something you shouldn't eat. It's almost like the, everything else seems like a little dull, but the like tray of pies the tray that of she's pies carrying looks they're like, food, like yes. ultra brown like, and crispy vivid color and I mean they are beautiful they're beautifully designed what's crazy is like knowing what's supposed to be in these my mouth is still watering <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know what that says about me as a person <laughs> Home Alone. And Home, Home Alone, alone too. too. Gosh, I'm eating junk and watching rubbish. Oh, the ice cream sundae. Yeah, it's a, it looks like a kid put it together. So it's not like styled yeah. for like presentation purposes. It's styled for eating. So that's another thing. That for sure has sundae. to be 100% edible. Oh, it's 100% edible. Because Macaulay Culkin is like chowing yeah, on this. For sure. Sometimes ice cream ca can be fake because mm. It melts so quickly yeah. under hot camera lights or whatever. It is like partially melted, which is why it also makes me think it's real ice cream. Oh, oh ice and cream. then the ice cream from Home Alone 2. Is from the hotel. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right, so we got okay. a very different styling okay. here. We got the kid put it together, mm -hmm. and now we have the, It was like, literally on like a plat, like a throwaway plate, like yes. a disposable plate. Yeah. And now he's like in the hotel, he's like in the bed. Like all the like silver gravy boats filled with all the different toppings. And Boosh. You can see kind of maybe a little bit of ice cream, but the main thing I noticed is like the whipped cream and mm -hmm. then the chocolate syrup just yes. sort of like drizzling out. And there's like a little bit of sprinkles on there. I wonder how many people just like attacked that Sunday yeah. when it came off set and they're like, okay, we're done. We don't, <laughs> we're finished with the scene. Everybody's like, grab a spoon. Right. Like, come on, let's oh eat it. Oh my gosh. Okay, Cloudy with a chance to meet well. So to me about animated food, especially in this instance, it's like it takes the most iconic version mm -hmm. of a food and make it makes it into the animated version. So like with the burger, like you can see all the layers so clearly, mm -hmm. like you can see the cheese, you can see the sliced of tomato, you can see the lettuce. When like you make a burger in real life, you may not see that like so perfectly yeah. the lettuce is a little leafy yeah and then there's like like i said that's like that f piece of cheese that's like forward facing mm -hmm. it's almost like it's cheated out a little bit to make it more apparent and then and there's the, like a little bit of mustard on that tomato ooh, yeah there is and like the bottom of the bun you can see like it's ever so slightly lighter, lighter. they did a great job good job animators Oh, Willy Wonka. You okay. Yeah, you can't talk this about food movies without talking OG about Willy Wonka. for sure. We are the music makers. Technically, in the storyline, obviously, the whole room is edible. We don't know how much of it was actually edible yeah. and how much of it wasn't. I would think for something this scale, for whatever they ate, that was edible. That was it. And everything You're else, right. because there's <sighs> so much, that it would have to be a prop. Because, oh. like, those giant gummy bears! Oh, I want what do we think the chocolate river is? I guess it could have been chocolate. Cocoa powder and water. Ooh, maybe. Oh, yeah, You know, just sure. like something simple. It was pretty cool though, however they came up with that. Yeah. <gasps> Harry Potter! Let the feast begin. Oh! oh! Okay, that was cool. Magic. This giant overhead view and all the food just like appears on the tables. It is like replicated. So I definitely think that that's like CGI. They may have had one table set. And so then they were able to copy that image. Yeah. And looking at it like from the camera angle, like you can't, you're not just going about it where you're just putting food down and guessing where the camera might see it. Like yeah. you're literally going about it. Like you know the camera is gonna be at that angle. You want to fill it so mm -hmm. it looks as full and immaculate as possible. But a lot of that may just be like the way the food is staged in front of the camera angle yeah. to make it look more full. That probably was a day. I don't think that they would have extended that over two days. You know, like there's that consistency thing. Like if you were to break filming a segment like that into multiple days at different times, the food changes at that point. Yeah. So you really have to do something like that at one yeah. time in one day. So I don't really don't think that we can talk about like food, iconic food scenes, especially like in this present time yes. without talking about the movie Chef. There are chefs that cook food that they believe in. I think it like transcended a whole lot of the way we see food in movies. The shooting of a girl's 
cheese just on a still photography set mm -hmm. is incredibly fun. It is fun. And incredibly laborious. And ch it's super challenging. Super, super challenging. challenging. Getting like gooey cheese mm -hmm. to stay and hold and look beautiful and like mm -hmm. goo where you want it to goo and like. Cheese pools. Cheese pools. Like, the whole it's thing. hard. It is very hard. That right there. Mm -hmm. Turning it. Mm hmm. That bubbly cheese. And then it gets crispy. Oh my God. <sighs> that. That right there. And they may have had to make that a few times to yeah. have gotten that, that cheese pool. Yeah. But at the same time, you put so much cheese on that grilled cheese, right. it probably, probably was fine. Yeah. Keeping that goo re like camera ready at all times, like that takes multiple, multiple, multiple grilled cheeses. I'm dying. Okay, I've never seen this movie either. I have not either. Oh, this is cool as bananas. So we cleaned the fish, filleted the fish, prepared the fish, fried the whole fish fillets. Okay, this guy no, knows what yeah. he's doing. The, this I is don't think like, that's him. You don't think that's him? <laughs> no. The knife skills that it takes yeah. to do that, that's a professional. This is not an American movie. I'll tell you that right now. Like, people will not be okay seeing food prepared like this. No. I think it's super cool because, like, this is, this is real. Very authentic. <gasps> Y'all, this is cool. <laughs> I feel like I should go home and watch this movie, though. What is he doing? He blew air into the duck so that the skin would bulge out. It's really it's really cool to see it from a different yeah. cultural perspective. That mm -hmm. you have to take into consideration yeah. as a food stylist of, like, it's not just about what would look pretty, but, like, what is appropriate. What is appropriate. Mm-hmm, totally. Ratatouille. Ratatouille. This is true, like, French cooking. Um, which is really beautiful. The copper pan the copper with pan. like the, the parchment, parchment cartouche. On top. It's beautiful. I mean, the detail in the food yeah. animation is great. With that sort of thing, they probably could have had someone prepare a dish like that in real life. And so then the animators were yeah. able to replicate it. That would be a hard thing as an animator just to like pick out of yeah, your brain. Of like where that would exactly fold over. Totally. And How here precious. you have like a totally different style of kitchen. Like now you're in like someone's like Home. farmhouse mm -hmm. and like And it's the same dish but just like presented differently. Yeah. Oh, is that it? Oh, yeah. Yay. That was good. That was fun. That was really fun. I'm salivating I'm like so nobody's hungry. business. I think there were some really, really great scenes picked out, some really great movies. Mm -hmm. Like the movie I probably want to go watch right now is Ratatouille. Really? Either that or No Reservations. I think sure. I'm Chef. No, I want to eat what's in well, Chef right now. Eat <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow Well Done on YouTube. Um, and let us know in the comments below what kind of food scenes in movies and TV shows that stick out to you. If you have any like comments related to the food scenes that we saw today, we would yeah. love to know like your thoughts and perspectives. Um, and yeah, it was really fun. Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs>